Hi there, we're back with another Vibe Education video. In this video, we're going to show you how to use your phone to interact with objects in Vibe Flow. Let's get to it. Using your phone as a controller with Vibe Flow. Vibe Flow uses your phone as a controller for quick, convenient VR immersion anytime, anywhere. Before putting on your Vibe Flow, make sure your phone is unlocked. While in VR, Look down at your hand holding the phone to see the button layout, which is divided into four sections. Select, Menu, Trigger, and Vive. Let's go through each of them one by one. The Select button lets you select items. The Menu button opens the App menu. Depending on the app, the Trigger button is used to select items and interact with objects such as 3D models. Tapping the Vive button opens the Vive menu, where you can access shortcuts and close the current app to go back to the home screen. To navigate screens and menus, swipe vertically or horizontally. If the beam starts to drift, you can reset it by tapping and holding two fingers on the screen for two seconds. If you need to do something on your phone while using Vive Flow, swipe down from the top of the screen to disable the phone controller. Taking off your Vive Flow also disables the phone controller. To enable the phone controller again, swipe down from the top of the screen to open the notifications panel, and then tap here. And there you go. Have fun using your phone as a controller in Vive Flow. Hey there, it's me again. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about Vive Flow or other Vive products, make sure to check out the other videos in this channel. I'll see you next time.